Maternal mortality continues to rise in the United States. A recent study published in the journal JAMA Psychiatry suggests that poor mental health may be a contributing factor. About one in four maternal deaths are attributed to mental health issues. Experts in the field are raising awareness and urging policymakers to address this maternal mental health crisis. Dr. Nidhi Kumar is on call to tell us more. Good morning. Good morning. So how big a problem are mental health issues among pregnant women and why? Well, one in seven women will experience postpartum depression and we are wow. only screening about 20% of women in the United States. So awareness is a big issue here. Now, pregnancy is a psychologically vulnerable time with, you know, these big hormonal shifts. We see a new onset of psychiatric illness, relapse of psych psychiatric illness, suicide and opioid overdose account for a quarter of all maternal deaths in the United States and poor access to medical and psychiatric care is a big issue. That stat that you gave us, one in seven suffering, just blows me away. What are some of the risk factors, you know, developing postpartum depression? Well, the number one risk factor is having had a history of having depression, anxiety, or a mood disorder. I mean, this puts you at about a 30% risk of having postpartum depression. Family history as well is big here. Um, having poor support system at home, having poor physical health, because we know that physical health and mental health health are tied together and also having a complicated delivery. You know, women who have complicated deliveries have a 30% increased chance of developing postpartum PTSD. Wow. Yeah. All right, what are some of the symptoms of postpartum depression that women should look out for and when do they need to seek help? Right. So sleep disturbance, change in appetite, sadness, anxiety, detachment from the baby. Now, a lot of women will experience what we call the blues. Mm -hmm. These are milder symptoms, last about two weeks, but if you are having symptoms greater than two weeks long, they're affecting your activities of daily living, thoughts of harming yourself or others, time to seek help. Now, is there anything that can be done to prevent postpartum depression? Well. I think at first awareness is so big, not only amongst women, but family members. You know, at, you know, keep a close eye on those, you know, new moms in your lives. Clearly, as a healthcare system, we need to do a better job with it. Get yourself as physically healthy as you can before pregnancy. Again, I have to say it over and over again, physical health, mental health go a long way teamwork mentality for when that baby comes delegate tasks friends and family surround pregnant women get outside new moms get outside get that sunlight be in nature and then finally there's a lot of data that shows that breastfeeding can be protective against postpartum depression again we want to balance that we don't want to put too much pressure on new moms but if you are considering nursing your baby Here's another reason why. I love what you said about getting, you know, your team because I always felt like ask for help and take the help. Absolutely. You know, cuz so often it's like, well, I can do this and you feel like you're burdening other people, but no, help. So, you, you need a team in yeah. all aspects of life, don't you? So true. Especially so true. this one. Dr. Nidhi Kumar, thank you so much for being here this thank morning. Thank you. And remember, you can catch Daddy Dr. Kumar's reports every Monday at 7:15 a.m.